uh, directly to you. That's right. That's the 33rd week. Of, I can't even say consecutively. Because it's nope. been two times now. Two you times. Messed, you, you messed that where, up. Where, <laughs> unless we have technical difficulties or I sleep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we, will, we will bring these to you. Uh, our podcast here on YouTube.com slash directly to you at Fanatics 4 Podcast. It's on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify. Finally, after all, all, all these stuff. Did I say iTunes already? Yes. It's on a bunch I of places. I think that's usually the first thing that you say. <laughs> it's on a bunch. Yeah, that, that's true. It just pulls off the tongue so well. Uh, if you guys want to support the podcast, we like delivering to you guys. We helped Anchor launch their listener support. And you guys can pledge or help us anywhere between a dollar to ten dollars, anywhere between that side and scale. It's okay if you don't want to, or you just you just like man, forget these guys, whatever. You don't have to, but still, please join the Discord, talk to us, you know, you know. And if you like what we do, then consider be, consider becoming a partner of the a member. Sorry, become a, a channel member. Channel member. And, and you if you do, pledge on the same level that the, on the directly, I mean the the anchor podcast thing. You'll get all the same perks that channel members get, which is you'll get well, except for the emotes, because I you'll don't think the, we can control that. You get the you'll loyalty get, badges, the, right. the the gaming time with us, and from time to time, free switch keys periodically to all our supporters. Uh, yeah, so there you go, and, and then you can do that on gaming YouTube as time goes on, and you can do that by going to gaming YouTube dot com slash fanatics four, and uh, yeah. gaming YouTube dot com <laughs> slash Fanatic yeah, gaming.youtube.com <laughs> slash Fanatics4. These intros are getting super low. We keep just adding stuff. It's going to be like freaking like 20 minutes of just information. Just like, all right, here's a, Hey, man, uh, this is point. an expensive operation. Right, right, right. These are things you guys need to know. These are need to know uh, things. If people want to support it, we, we got we to gotta let them know how they can do that. That's right, and that, that, that's what I need to know, and every one of you guys need to know. Speaking of need to know, we need to know about Nintendo's 2018 Direct plans. So they've been having a lot of Directs lately. Well, kind of Directs a little bit. Two of them were not called Directs, but they were Directs, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, but they had the two Nindies, uh, well, the one was Indie Spotlight. Then the other one was called a Nindy Showcase. And then the one that happened on Wednesday was a Nintendo Direct for their uh, mobile game. It's an action RPG called Dragalia's Lost or Dragalia Dr- Lost or something. I don't know. It's some type it of Japanese cool. is it, is it, weepy is it cool? stuff. It's, it's fine. It's a four-player <laughs> multiplayer. Four, four-player multiplayer is redundant. It's a four-player co-op action RPG for mobile. Um, okay. And it's kind of like, it reminds me of like Pokemon, uh, like Fire Emblem situation. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to be all over this when it comes out. I'll play it for one to two days. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next. But um, beyond that, th- like there, there just seems to be a lot of rumblings for other directs i mean obviously we we know we're going to get some type of uh, some more messaging from nintendo in some way shape or form and that just tends to be through directs um because they did say that they have more first party switch stuff to announce uh for the rest of the year and they said that around e3 um and we still haven't seen whatever that is for their holiday exactly Um, so we'll definitely get something Plus, they usually like to, even though a lot of times that's in January, but they do like to like, uh, like summarize their year, like mm-hmm. moving forward. So like they'll they'll be like, all right, this is what 2019 is going to be. You know, like these these are the first, at least the first half of 2019. So I think that we'll probably get. I I would not be surprised if we got a direct in September, because last year. We got a direct in September, and that's when we learned about uh, Doom and Wolfenstein, I think. I'm pretty sure they announced those at the same time, um, amongst other things. But those are the, the, that's the big, like, thing of, like, the first Doom game of Wolfenstein was like, okay, yeah, this is definitely a, a console that people didn't expect it to be. Um, and I feel like we're going to get more of those announcements moving forward. I think this the rest of this year is probably going to be what a lot of this year has been which is like kind of catch up Mm -hmm. where it's like um these haven't been on nintendo consoles before so here you go you know like the right right right. diablo type situations uh we'll probably see more of those games or and or 
more Wii U ports, and there may be one or two like big new things from Nintendo, or big in quotations, you know, like not a mm. Breath of the Wild sort right, of situation, right, right, right. but more of like a. Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't even know how to how to phrase it, you know, because it's like they haven't done it yet in terms of like a new IP sort of thing. I don't know if it's yeah. going to be a new IP, but I think that it's going to be a new entry in some game, but it's not going to be a big thing. It's going to be like a like a F zero level announcement, even though a lot of people are excited for F zero. But I mean, like, right, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not like earth shaking type of sales you know, potential like wise. Yeah, I think it, it they, we might see something on that level. Um. There was a rumor, or I don't know. I guess if anybody's like, "Hey, this would be cool," it just turns into a rumor. I don't know if there's any type of backing <laughs> at all to this. But yeah. um, Justin brought to my attention when we were talking about what this direct, I mean, well, what this directly to you episode was going to be, um, that they had uh, like a a lineup quote unquote leaked <laughs> for the next Nintendo Direct and now this is nuts and I highly doubt not necessarily the games that are in this but it's mm. definitely not all going to be in one Direct and the, the list goes as follows <laughs> I, w- I would definitely like uh, you know hold back my uh, my excitement and my expectations yeah, be, be sure to not yeah. think yeah. that and this I, is and a and real and thing you, and you guys all should too you, you guys listening so just, you know, just keep in mind you know so, so take with, sure, take yeah. with, 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 with a grain of salt, but go on. A, a whole a whole container of salt. <laughs> yeah. A sea full of salt. Um, but picture it now. The direct opens. The Smash Brothers logo it forms on the screen. <laughs> yeah. And three strange children pop up. It's the chorus kids. They're they're announced for Smash Brothers. Logan doesn't know who the chorus kids are, do you? I have no clue. They're from Rhythm Heaven. It's they're they're kind of obscure, but a lot of people like them, and they wanted to win Smash Brothers. <laughs> this I will say is probably going to happen due to another thing that is a leak, quote unquote. I don't know. You can fake things like these these days, but there was a Smash Brothers leak again, quote unquote, that had screenshots, quote unquote, <laughs> of characters that are. "Quote unquote confirmed for Quote Smash unquote. Brothers." <laughs> yeah, so uh, it had Shadow, it had Dixie Kong, it had the Chorus Kids, it had Isaac from Golden Sun, Uh-oh. and it had um, Banjo Kazooie, which is a big one if that happens because yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. Microsoft. That, that, that's game. like okay, you know, we don't need anything else. Um, yeah, the, so. the the and those those are all ones that I could kind of see being. I could likely. definitely I see. I could see them. them being likely because, yeah. like at at this point, it's like um, you know, Shadow makes sense as far as being an echo for uh, for Sonic. Uh, the Dixie Kong, I could see that. It was, I, there was like already a rumor going around about extra DK characters, and we were, right. we already got Ken K rule, um, obviously, yeah. and then then like Dixie would just add on to that. That'd be cool. Uh, and then yeah, that just make that makes sense. That makes sense. Isaac, oh, did Isaac, I Isaac's only one I'm like. Did I huh? say Skull Kid? He's in there too. I think you said that. But yeah, um, Isaac's the only one I'm like, what? I mean, I would, I would love to see Isaac in freaking Smash. I mean, if Lil Mac can make it in, why not? You know? <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> Granted, I mean, I'm pretty sure the fr- first punch out sold really well. Um, but, yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, the next thing, new Pokemon Let's Go trailer. You know, they, these, these things like, assuming this is not real... They like to do that. They like to throw the gimmies in there where it's like, duh. You know, like the first Mm -hmm. one is like, it's believable, but it's not like a no duh sort of situation. But a Pokemon Let's Go trailer is like, duh. Uh, The next thing, Chibi Robo Plugged. Chibi Robo Plugged. Yeah, released in 2019. Uh, The next thing, SNES Remix, December 2018. Uh, Team Sonic Racing, December 14th, release date. I think it's already confirmed for December. For whatever reason, I thought it was October, but I guess not. Uh, Diablo 3 announced for November. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not really. I'm not. Damon X Machina, uh, January 25th. Uh, th- see, this is already wrong. Right here. Not the Damon X Machina thing. But Travis Strikes Again, November 30th. It was confirmed the day for January 25th or 15th. One of those. I, f- I forgot which one. But it, it's January. They already confirmed that. So She already shaking the validity of these things. Yeah, already, it's, you know? already, it's already looking pretty bad <laughs> yeah, for right, you, right, whoever right. made this. Uh, Bayonetta 3, 2019 summer. 
uh, Yoshi Flipside. <laughs> huh. Uh, April 2019. I mean, kudos to you guys for trying to give it a subtitle. Even yeah, I mean, them. everybody's doing it. Everybody's like looking at the flip thing and like clearly it's going to be called flip something. Yoshi, the, I think the first one was flipping out. I think that was the first one that uh, they thought it was going to be called. Yeah. Uh, Wonderful 101, November 13th. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. U plus New Super Luigi U, early 2019. Now this, uh, I don't know about the date. The, the date is like. Uh, I don't know. That's conjecture. Uh, but it does it does seem likely that we're going to see new Super Mario Bros. based on what credible people are saying. Right. Uh, Mario Tennis Aces DLC doesn't have a date for that. Uh, Mario Baseball, which, I mean. Hey, uh, all right. Now, that's a sport game. I'll get behind. Though. Yeah, I'd be cool with that. But it, awesome. it, it seems random. Isabella confirmed for Smash. Uh, which Who's that? It, it, Isabella from uh Earth? Isabel is Earthbound? No. Oh. Isabel from uh from uh Animal Crossing. Oh, I'm way off. Anyways, um go on. I'm pretty sure her name is Isabel. It might be Isabel, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's Isabel, so that's another thing that makes this uh leak questionable. <laughs> uh Tomodachi <laughs> World, November twenty seventh. That'd be I'm cool. Assume, I'm assuming That'd be 20, 2018. And this is already way too many games for holiday. Like, it doesn't seem like a Nintendo sort of thing to be like, here's all the things. You know, I, I can see four games from Nintendo Max for holiday. And then maybe, like, another four from third party. Yeah, uh, you don't want to cram that season. Like, just be like, throw everything at the, at the kitchen sink out there. At yeah, the, you want to have, like, like you know, big, you're, you're two, three big, efforts. you know. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause then it's like, what do you, what do you get? <laughs> like, exactly. It's like for, for the people that get one gift during holiday season. Cause I mean, there's people like that. I hear they got freaking uh, yeah, yeah 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 right right right. You got like pick. twenty. For you, you got a list of like twenty or thirty freaking games. Doom Let's Eternal go. 2019. We already knew that. Uh, Overwatch December 11th. I doubt this so hard. <laughs> uh, because I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even care. I, I, I wouldn't even get it to be honest. But yeah, I'll get Overwatch. You're stupid, um, <laughs> man. I got Paladins, G. I got Paladins. What? Get off! Get <laughs> get off the channel. Channel. Go go away. <laughs> go join Switch Force. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> um, uh, Final Fantasy 15 Royal Edition, uh, 2019. Uh, Warframe that. available now. This is already this is a see, two see, hour I, this is a two hour long direct. <laughs> Clearly, but what were you saying? I freaking I freaking I, freak, I freaking hate those things when like when they like uh the, this whole part of the rumor thing they put like things we already know or things that are like just like you know it's, just, it's a gimme it's a it's an easy thing. Yeah. Fire Emblem May 2019, Shin Megami Tensei uh, May 2019, covering Star both of those. Fox, just Star you know. Fox you know. and Animal Crossing 2019. I don't know why they grouped those two together, but all right. I don't know why. If See, this is... Whoever put this together, you need to be better at putting together fake leaks. Because <laughs> why in the world... We don't would they, need if they're going to announce an Animal Crossing 2019, why wouldn't they group that with the Isabel announcement? Yeah, 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 that yeah was, exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's stupid. Mother 3 2019... Yeah, okay. Mario Switch 2019, uh, Pikmin 4 2019. Uh, see, 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 no, no, they're just. And I don't up. think that they would do that. I don't think that they would announce so many things with the, just these like. He said bang. Mother 3, and then he said Pikmin 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like back then, the same. It's like what? Get out uh, of here. New, the same cycle. New, new Metroid Prime 4 teaser. Uh, a teaser? And then Rayman added to Smash, which why would you put that there? And I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Debunked, get it. debunked. It's a myth. This is fake. It's fake. Yeah, this is nonsense. Um, I can see some version of some of these things happening. No mm. way in hell would we get this many announcements in a direct, let alone this many big announcements. Yeah, in yeah a no, no, that's that's not happening. So. It's like uh, th at that point you'd be revealing everything. It's like what else is there to show, like, at all? You know? Yeah, just you know, put it in the books, uh, put it in the dictionary next to. Fake. Yeah, when he said, just when he that said, yeah, yeah, Mother Three, and then see that right there, I was like, okay, all right, unicorns and, and tooth fairies. <laughs> like when he said that, I was like, all right, now. now Mother you're Three being... coming out, I I wouldn't be surprised because again, it's it's a where there's smoke, there's fire situation. Like we've been hearing for a long time that Mother Three was going to happen on Wii U. Um, and we we do know on some level that Nintendo just got to the point where we're like, all right, we're not developing for this thing anymore. Move everything yeah, to the next yeah. thing. 
you know so I, I wouldn't be surprised if we got it within the next year or so but it just see, again and like to me that reads as Pikmin like right beside i'm like what I don't know, they didn't put Pikmin weird. beside. That was just a, a vague 2019 date. Oh, okay, okay. That's, that's all Pikmin as well. I'm like, what? Yeah, it, it was in no no type of order. Most of the announcements on there just had these like super weird vague dates, um, and there's too many announcements. So it was like that, that. That was just straight up nonsense. But with that being said, I do think we'll see a direct, and I do think that some of those things are plausible. Definitely not. Oh, all definitely, of them. definitely, definitely, definitely. I think uh, the most possible, obviously, is uh, Rayman and Smash. I think that's going to happen. <laughs> no, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I just want them to put a rabbit. I think me and Bob talked about this. I want them to put a rabbit in Smash. That makes sense. Just it because sense. it would make so many people angry, <laughs> uh, and also I, I it's think like, including including this, including you two actually. Yes, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like. But um, I'm okay with that because I I like to suffer from. Yeah, my yeah, you don't you don't take um, things like that too serious. Like you don't yeah. take things, like other people will be like they like I'm not getting this game. It's so freaking yeah. I terrible. like I might I might make a video about it jokingly. You know, like the Luigi situation where it's like this is just or the, utter or the, nonsense or the shovel knight. Yeah, that too. Situation. That too. But you know, <laughs> where like, it's like people public like, opinion says that wasn't a joke. So clearly, <laughs> yeah. clearly they understood the intent of the video that I wrote. Um, like, like yeah. every single week, but uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was this tweet. Um, this is this is off topic. I mean, it's not off topic. It's on topic with what we're talking about. It's on this line of thought. But there was this tweet that was uh, basically saying it was from Tara Long. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if you know who she is, but she's like a, a gaming industry person. I think she's at Polygon now. Yeah. Um, and she tweeted out a picture of somebody being like. Um, I didn't watch the video, but I heavily disagree, or something along those lines. And then I was like, I retweeted. I was like, "Story of my life," because that is what 100 percent every comment section. That's just like, why would you? I don't know. Like, why? Why even? Why even put your two cents in at that point? It's like you know, you didn't you didn't care enough to watch the entire video. It's like uh, I don't care oh. if you care to watch the entire video. It's just like it's just I like mean, the, the, oh, but that's add. It's I disagree. Like you like can't. It. it does. Yeah, exactly. Like you can't give an opinion on something that you lack context on, not an informed one anyway. Because a, a group of words can mean literally anything. Just like the shovel knight thing, it was a joke. And anybody, like Bob, Bob said he was like, just knowing who you are, I know that you were joking, and it read as a joke. So right. it's like that. That's the type of uh, context that you lack. When you and why you shouldn't just see a title and automatically react to your interpretation of what that title meant, but we're off we're off topic here. Speaking right. off topic, no, I'm joking. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of videos for the you know in your videos uh, in particular, your video this week, where where you yeah, you put together your thoughts on the Nindies that were announced. Uh, uh, this week and it was and we got we got some we got some not good announcements um really good announcements I, undertale is is, is, is gonna be because I, I never played it never played it honestly so um so being that this is you know the switch is getting it obviously this is gonna be the first time uh and it's gonna be the best time this is the best place to play for me and you, you kind of spoke on that in the video talking about oh yeah i got it for played it for wait the pc you played it for yeah, I had it for PC. And you didn't want to play it for Vita, obvious for obvious reasons. Yeah. And no, uh, no, no, no. and yeah, so I'm gonna get it on the Switch. And you're gonna get it on the Switch, it's gonna be great. Um also I think um what was that? Uh Into the Breach looks really good.M um, I think that's out now. I d I'm not really interested in that though. Yeah, it's it's it's, um, it's like a cool cool little strategy, it's pretty cool. Uh yeah. what was it? what was it? Um Well it was uh Bullet Age looks pretty cool, level head looks awesome. Um, as you said, like it's like it, it's a cool little. Um, this will do until you guys get your stuff together and realize this switch needs the uh, the Mario Maker. Yes, one hundred percent. But there's a hold on. There's a recap on our website, fanatics 4com Using I'm our resources. The freak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think how I'm going to send this to you. I'll text it to you. All right, that'll work. <laughs> So you can like get a refresh on on what everything that they announced because I like that video was just it changed a lot because it was just this thing of like I had a general idea that I was going to talk about the Nindies direct I didn't know how I was going to do it because I didn't know what they were going to announce obviously 
Um, so it, at first I was like, I'm going to break down everything that they announced just quicker. Um, but then it was like, nah, I don't want to do that. That's, that's, that's too, you know, like switch forcey <laughs> i don't really want to mm-hmm. do that mm-hmm. um so i was like nah, i'm just going to talk about the games that i'm interested in and then like try to see what everybody else is interested in and uh seems like people like it so that worked covering stuff like that is it's hard because it's like i want to get it up in a in a um in a good amount of time like within our normally scheduled uh upload yeah. But at the same time, I don't want to rush it. Um, I don't want to just do... I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop refer- referencing them. But I don't want to do like the typical YouTube thing where it's like, <laughs> oh, this thing just got announced. Let me make a six-minute video just basically reading you a press release. Um, oh, your bashing, your bashing looks good as well. Yeah. Um, um, Justin reached out to the dev of that game in Transistor. Uh, we, might, we might be doing something with them. I don't know. TBD. Be on the lookout. Uh, yeah, Towerfall. Hey, there's so many good. There's so many good. I just, I just love Towerfall. Them. That's just, the first. You're the first person <laughs> that saw that and was like, "That's a game that I want on this list." <laughs> there's, there's, there's just, there's just so many. I just, I just love these. Uh, the the indies. I just love playing these games on the Switch. Honestly. Yeah, so that's, I, I mean, that's, like a, years ago, that's a whole never... other uh, conversation that people are having where it's like, are there too many indies? And it's like, I think that's, I think that's stupid to, to, to ask that question. Because it's like, no, nobody's like, even though I would say that's much more of a problem. But I never hear anybody saying like, "Is there too many shooters, or are there too many? Uh, th- does Sony make too many third-person action games?" It's like if they're right, good, exactly. they're good. Who cares? You know, like just the 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 amount of money put into a game does not determine its value. Point blank. Period. <laughs> yeah, that were the case. Freaking. Um... So many of the indie games will just be garbage. Like, oh, How many these? games have we been sent that were forty dollars plus from established studios that were like, "Yeah, don't don't buy this." <laughs> oh my god, a few, and I, I, I don't yeah, want to throw these guys I, under the bus. A but couple, you know, yeah, 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 right, right. We 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 know, we know which ones. We know which ones we, we don't yeah, have we, to play again. We, we know. Um, uh, so it, it's just like that. That doesn't. That shouldn't uh, shape your opinion. Speaking of opinions, let's get into the comment section and read off their opinions. How about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Executor66 says, Best announcement, Untitled Goose Game. Worst announcement, Treasure Stack. Strangest announcement, Untitled Goose Game. Funniest announcement, Untitled Goose Game. Uh, most anticipated announcement, Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> Gooseiest announcement. Okay, let's go. Okay, all right. Now. <laughs> Gooseiest <laughs> announcement, Untitled Goose Game. Most worthy of being in Smash. Goose. U.S. Yeah, President well, 2020, down. Goose. Future Emperor of the World, Goose, Goose. <laughs> Goose. Goose. <laughs> uh, so we, 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 what was your takeaway with that with that comment, Logan? Well, I Goose, he likes Goose a lot. I don't know. Oh, no, my I God. I guess he likes Goose. <laughs> the podcast is canceled. <laughs> oh, shoot. That was crazy. What do, you, what, yeah, do you, had, what do you think? There's a lot, a lot of goose, a lot of goose. I had, uh, I had to pull that one because that was a good comment. It was a yeah, good that comment. Was, that was, that was, that was ten funny. out of ten. Funny. Um, Jose Eduardo. That was the sorry for that for that. I'm oh, going to need a minority report on that. <laughs> Jose Eduardo says AJ, AJ, AJ primarily respects the quality content that is generated on that channel. Man, the Nintendo Switch has games. Uh, the problem, in my opinion, is the way it has been released. Nintendo has inflated the indie games on their console. And I understand that people who feel annoyed with this, I love indie games. However, many of them look the same, including The Messenger. The, you commented that it uh, really looks like something incredible, but when you look at it the first time, it seems a lot uh, with any indie game. It seems a lot with any indie yeah. Uh, Celeste is one of my uh, best games of the 20, uh, year 2018. However, it has uh, to be noted, it has to be noticed and realized that it is uh, not only from indies that one uh, lives, what? One lives the console market, uh, loves the console market. Uh, if you stop to think that about Pokemon and Smash, I do not see any great release for this year. Greetings from Brazil and keep up the great work. I disagree with the Pokemon and Smash uh, as far as like being the only... Um, 
Yeah, hard good. disagree on this kind. Yeah, hard, dis- hard disagree <laughs> with that. Because uh, yeah, it's, it's like if we get into the thing of like every game looks the same. Every game looks the same on the other platforms too. They just cost more money. <laughs> it's exactly. Like, like what, what? What shooters do not look parallel to you? Like it's, they like what? I mean, that was kind yeah. of fair. That's like the easiest I can go to her. But still, but still, it's like the first thing that came to my mind. Like it just uh, we see we're seeing these kind of examples like all throughout in different avenues. But it's like they're not getting pointed at. All of a sudden, it's like you know. Um, and not to like come at you too hard, but it's just like you know. Yeah, I just, just like, I just disagree. I mean, I, right. you're you're welcome to have that opinion. I just disagree with it. And then, um, uh, oh, another thing: the, the the Pokemon and Smash. I don't see any other great releases for the year. What about what, what about the? I mean, of course, it's not going to do as well. But I'm I'm excited for a uh, Super Mario Party. I think that's going to that might revitalize the uh, you know, kick the uh, older engine back in the start. You know, for that for the whole franchise. Yeah, that's, that's okay. me honestly. Um, check out the videos we did on that. Uh, that game, by the way, plug plug. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of Mario Party. If you if you like or hate Mario Party, there's there's videos for you on Fnatic's Four dot com. I don't Zendra know if they're Fox. all on the website. <laughs> Zenja Fox says, uh, "For this indie showcase, favorite announcement probably Night Market. Something about a game I know at a glance I'll probably get really into, and I can't quite see how it fits together into a coherent whole." From the trailer, not because the trailer is confusing, but because it's doing something in the genre I just can't see how it fits in. A narrative focus has me really interested. Um, and if adding 20 hours of story to Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon, genre of life, business sims, hybrids, opens the genre up to people who have struggled to get into that in the past. Uh, in the same way that I know a lot of people, myself included, who found Dragon Quest builders giving them an open world building game they could enjoy by adding quests that give some sort of direction. Even better, uh, least favorite, probably King of a Hat. Um, just not seeing what it really adds to the single screen arena fighter. A genre I have very little opportunity to partake in, so I'm biased against it anyway. But not everything has to be for me, as you said, and I'm sure that people who are into it uh, and get the chance to play the stuff like Duck Game frequently might see something in uh, in this that makes them want to get uh, go and get it along with the Duck Game for multiplayer chaotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's uh, you know people have their different uh, views on things and what they you know prioritize. You know they might they might like it. All right, Gazinja Fox. Sheesh. Anyway, go go. Continue. Yeah. How dare you? How uh, how dare you? <laughs> weirdly, I think I saw more things to get excited by in last week's showcase. Put up with zero fanfare by Nintendo UK, though Nintendo didn't help by burying Bastion and Transistor. Apparently, announcements, uh, if Justin is to be believed, in the sizzle reel. Um, Transistor, I didn't really like it when it was like out for the other consoles. I, I didn't really, no, I didn't really. I I didn't play it. Yeah, I, I didn't. Um, I hear a lot of good things about it. Um, I mean, I'd be interested to try it. Bastion, I'm interested it. to try that. Looks awesome. Uh, um, anyway, then the video they treated as more of an event by announcing and streaming it. Um, yeah, um, I agree with the with the um, the night market thing. That is a, a bit which I again I've I've enjoyed games like that in the past. Like I liked uh, the Harvest Moon game on the GameCube a lot. I think it was called a, a, Another Wonderful Life or something like that. I like that game. That game's funny and it's it's just like a thing of like. Uh, you just want to get to the next like goal post that you set for yourself where it's like, I want to have this many dollars or I want to get married or <laughs> I want to have this animal, you know, like that, that sort of thing. Right. Um, and it just like you fall in that rabbit hole. It's like it's, it's like life. It's like you can never have enough. <laughs> so it's like the yeah. game never ends. Um, and sometimes I'll just like fall deep where it's like, oh, I'll play this for a little bit. And it's like, no, but I got to do this now. <laughs> I got to get the next thing. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, I am very interested to play that game, and I'd be even more interested if it kind of caps me off. <laughs> so it's like, all right, I can move on with my life now. Right, exactly. It, it doesn't have to be a thing of like always checking in on it and and playing it more and more. Cause I, not that I have a problem with like the game, cause there's there's a lot of people that game like that, you know, where it's like they have a game and that's it. 
All mm-hmm. they do is play sports games, you know, like the, the, the 2Ks and the Maddens and stuff like that. Or all they do right, is play right, Call right, of right, Duty right, right, right. or the Assassin's Creed that comes out every year. And that's all fine and dandy. But I got to stay informed. So I can't just sit on one game for five months. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? exactly. You got to diversify. And it creates uh, opportunity for more content. And speaking of more content, we had that this week with my Monster Hunter Did video. Did we? I didn't see it. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, So I guess, I mean, you already heard what I thought about it. I, the only thing I'm trying to think. Um, so I told Dan. Uh, yeah, let me, yeah, let me know. When we were talking about the, like, because he was asking me what game he should play, I think, for his channel or talk about. I don't know. One of those things. He's basically like, hey, uh, what's the game that's coming out on Switch? He's like, Monster Hunter's coming out. Um, and I was saying that I kind of want to make a video about it, but at the same time, I want to like align you as the like non Pokemon RPG guy. <laughs> mm, yeah, it makes, it makes sense. Like, it makes I sense. don't really care for them, you know? So it's like when companies reach out to us for them, and I know that that's something that you like, I can just be like, yeah, here, there you go. You exactly. play. <laughs> exactly. Because uh, yeah, that's you, something you that play you like. this, uh, this thing that, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I get what you're saying. Um, it, just, it just makes a lot of sense. I do have thoughts on Monster Hunter. I do not like it very much. Because <laughs> it's just like, it's everything that, and, and it annoys me even more because it's like so many people, so many like quote unquote hardcore gamers or quote unquote savvy gamers really like this game, but it's so antiquated. Like I hear day in and day out about how bad quote unquote Splatoon's online is, right? But then they have, you have this game preach it, that preach plays it, like it. a PSP game preach online. It. <laughs> like it, it. it's, it's so so convoluted and unnecessary on how you like Man, join up yo, with friends. The first time like we, we we played this, I think it was we the only spent time. two this, hours. This, this because, just because, like, and you know, I th- I think that that speaks to it because like, we would have played it more had it not been such a complicated mess. You know? Yeah, it's, 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 just, it's just a headache. We literally and spent how long trying to just play together? It was nice. And that's the whole game. The whole game really is like it's just a series of headaches <laughs> until you figure it out. You know, yeah, like exactly. anybody jumping into Monster Hunter, and I mean, part of that is they're trying to rectify that with games like World, but then it's like that that turns off the people that are like already five thousand hours into this franchise, and they already mm. know all the the minutia, all the crap. Because to them, it's obvious. You know, right, it's kind of right, like, right, what, right. What, uh, like what like what do you Bob, mean on how to do this? Right, right, right. Like you know? Bob's talking about like Pokemon Yellow, where it's like you guys like you understand this because you're like big fans of this, right? Um, so that's what the Monster Hunter series is. It's like so many people are like, it's so obvious. Obviously, you get the whetstone and then you bring it up to level whatever, exactly. and then you, it's like, like I don't have, like I don't have time to sift through these menus <laughs> and and do all that crap and freaking go through an encyclopedic journey to figure out how to play this game. <laughs> it's just like, yes. and it, it's it, it. I just don't get the payoff from it right like it is kind of like that like uh the white whale situation of like chasing the net like chasing that armor kind of like what i was talking about with stardew but more complicated and something that is like less like do it at your own pace right almost uh it's like i want the i don't know jaggy or whatever whatever monster somebody tell me a monster in the comments and pretend that i said it um (laughs) but whatever monster i want this monster's armor that's what i want so then you go on a 50 hour trek to, to max out this armor or do whatever you gotta do and that's the point of the game it's like getting the thing that ooh that looks cool I want that mm-hmm. you know it's like I just I, I, just, I, I feel like it has more of a it has the same kind of like uh, thing that has like like say like a wow you know it's like it's like yes, just, if it yes, feels like, yes, yes. it's like it's like a bunch of questing where it's like okay get this quest now go do it then turn the quest in and it's just, it's just a bunch of I, I just you know, and they try to like sprinkle in the story here and there, but I just, I just don't really care for it overall. As far as like that, the those type of games, it's just, it's just like, you know. And, and um, it feels like, like to me, I don't know. Far be it for me. Maybe I'm at overstepping. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm going too far. <laughs> but it feels like to me, uh, like a free to play Souls game, combat wise. Not that it's hard, but just how it's structured and how it feels to actually play the game. Mm-hmm. It feels like a Souls game without the feedback, without the like the good game feel. If like you know, like I'm always talking about how in like MMOs, like uh, Dragon Age, how it feel like it's it just feels like bullet spongy. 
it's like I'm just pressing the, I'm clicking the button or whatever so to see numbers go. pop up on the screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like there's there's no real like feedback uh, immediately, and it's, it's just like I I don't know what happens until <laughs> somebody's arm falls off, and then it's like oh I guess I'm hurting this thing. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah. it just feels so like lifeless and and I just can't I can't yeah. do it. But if you like it, that's your thing. You know, I you have know, my thoughts. And and, and you know, maybe some people in the comments like it. Let's let's find out. Um, so hold on. Squandle, Squandle. I, I don't. Th- hey, you know, Squandle. let yeah, us know. Uh, he's only, a he's a regular, but we still don't know his name. <laughs> my only experience with Monta Hunter has been a few sessions of World and the Generations Ultimate Demo. Uh, how I imagined this series beforehand, however, was more akin to the structure of the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Not in terms of combat, of course. Um, a world in which you are dropped in with barely the resources and skills to fight a majority of the beasts roaming around in even the starting area. Yeah, which I always hated in Xenoblade. But anyway, going on. Um, however, like you get a real sense of progression as you gradually become stronger and able to defeat the seemingly, uh, seemingly undefeatable uh, Rathalos? With, with Rathalos? Yeah, you spotted and died at. Oh, that's the Monster Rathalos. Yeah, yeah, I yeah died Rathalos. Yeah. I'm gonna start your adventure. Unlike Xenoblade, it would be neat if the story unfolds itself at a pace the player wants and can completely ignore it if they desire. Uh, you want to hunt for 30 minutes and improve your skills? You can do that. You want to sit down for six hours for a heavier narrative experience and a grindier time? Why not? Um, that's another thing about this game. These games are for people that like grinding. That's I hate I, it. I, 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 I just mentioned that at, at the end of like the, the, the end game content, how you had to, okay, you're gonna grind for this and grind for that. that's that's a lot of the reason why I hated uh, what was it? It was some oh Dragon Age. We just talked about Dragon Age. Yeah, it was yeah, where yeah. it's like not only did you have to grind just to get your like level up to be strong to even fight the the, the enemies. You had to level up. You had to uh, grind in order to get what's known as power to even do a mission to progress in the story. So it's like you're grinding on both. It was just ter- I, yeah. I don't like. I don't like. I hate uh, like force grinding like that. Where it's something like you got like Pokemon, where it's like you can you know. Um, it, like it doesn't seem either, like, for Pokemon like, for the most part. And in the early games, you got it. You you got to grind. There's ways to kind of cheese it and get around it. Uh, but that I mean that's why I don't like Gen One. Or Gen Two, <laughs> because it is, it is real. At least the, those generations, in the way that I said before, like how I define it, like by mechanics, not by mm-hmm. region. Um, yeah. But they are really grindy. But they got a lot better at pacing the game. Where it's like if you pick a team and you stick to it, just doing like playing the game as normal, you're going to be a, a good enough trainer level wise to yeah. to get through the game. Um, I but I just I don't like games that. Uh, conflates difficulty with time spent. It's not hard to grind. It's just a time sink. Mm-hmm. That's not difficult at all. Not even a little bit. All it does is pad the time. Right, right. <laughs> That's Two, why Monster hours Hunter of gameplay. Are you, are you exactly. for or That's or why Monster grind? Hunter is three, four, yeah. five hundred hours long because there's a ton of grinding. Like, yeah. if, if, if it was just, like, a thing of, like, say it was, like, more of, like, an action RPG where it's, like, heavily skill-based and didn't really depend as heavily on stats, that game would probably be, like, 60 hours, which is a good amount of time. Mm-hmm. But, like, a, a big reason why people are like, man, you'll lose your life to this game is because you have to grind <laughs> so much. It's not there, yeah. there's not that much, like, actual content. But, again, that's that's my read on the situation. If you like the game, you like the game. <laughs> well, maybe AP oh, yeah. underscore... Uh, Makina or Mac- Makina, Mac- Makina, Maki- Makina. Yeah, Makina. pretty sure it's Makina. Yeah, maybe they like, maybe they like this. All right, let's 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 you know, let's hold our, let's hold our, let's you know, let's not deter them. Let's see, let's see the comment. Do video. I like all your suggestions. I only got two minuscule gripes with the info regarding Monster Hunter World, though. Uh oh. If you're part of a squad, which is what all my friends and I did, Iguana Gang Squad represent. Okay, first of all, <laughs> your 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 void just for that name just off the bat because. <laughs> Whoever made that name, you guys need to fire them for the next one. That's terrible. Anyway, um, (laughs) then you automatically get put into their room if you select and search for a squad session, assuming they already haven't put one up. So you see that? um, Yeah, so I I actually did not know that. But even that is like, why do I have to do all that? It it is. That that, that is still a lot, though. It's like, you got to know. 
This is not where I have to can... freaking consult the <laughs> hidden scrolls of Monster Hunter to understand how to to play the game. Oh. And the game is built on that. That's the value of the game is playing with your friends. Exactly. If you play and Monster, so if you play Monster Hunter by yourself and you enjoy it. You play it with no friends. Let me know in the comments because <laughs> everybody I've ever talked to is like the, the value of it is <laughs> the friends. But anyway, continue. They go and say, however, we played on PS4 and could also use the system menu to send invites. Join each other's uh, sessions uh, semi-flawlessly. Not sure if it works the same on Xbox or PC. Also, all you or your friend have to do is watch the cutscene by yourselves and you can join each other's story missions at least for the missions after the beginning tutorial ones i know stupid way of doing yes it. that's very stupid I was yeah yeah, yeah. A, a stupid way of doing it honestly what in monster hunter uh isn't somewhat convoluted exactly but, I mean, but, exactly but, 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 <laughs> the, uh, like 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 the way they added that at the end was like you know just deal with it though I, <laughs> I res- no no i respect it i respect it because yeah. he's owning up to the fact that it's 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 kind of dumb you know it's like if you like it you like it um, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of stupid stuff in Monster Hunter. Yeah, it's like um, it's like it's like okay. So if I'm a, if I'm a newbie, right? Which which I was during Witten World. So I still very much so, so am and so, will continue to be. So if I'm if I'm going through and you know I have no knowledge of you know of, of uh, so I'm going through. I try to do these tutorial missions and you know, which they're not like a simple. Uh, it's like like a quick. They're not. I feel like I needed right. a tutorial to do the tutorial. Right. It's, it's, Their it's tutorials a, it's a are long, not very good. It's a, <laughs> it's a it's a long thing, and everyone I've, that I've spoken to, they're like, I, I couldn't do story missions. I don't know. I, I just, I'm not sure. But uh, like, the people it, I've, I've spoken to, it's just it's so dumb. Because why I am playing this game? Literally, why I bought it was because you're like, yo, you want to play Monster Hunter? Somebody got Monster Hunter. Let's do that. And I bought that. I don't want to play it by myself. Yeah, see, I, I just gotta say, I apologize. I, 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 I had no idea it was gonna be that complicated to even uh, join a freaking uh, play together. It's nuts. It's fine. I I reserved myself to purchasing games I'm never gonna play. <laughs> Do it all the time. Do it all the time. I think that I think that's another part of like why a lot of companies send out like press copies and stuff like that. Because yeah. it is like kind of like. It, it's mostly to be like, hey, if you like this, then, you know, play it and let people know what you think of it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it would be like, it would be too, it would cause, it would be prohibitively expensive <laughs> for somebody to like run a channel about uh, games, buy a whole, like buy everything that's coming out mm-hmm. and then end up not having time to really play enough of anything to decide if they like it or not and they end up wasting all this money. Um, so for companies to just be like, hey, yeah, try this out, see if you like it, and uh, if you like it, make a video. Um, that's a that's a, a big a big help. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Because I mean, a lot of people look at it, it's like, oh yeah, that's cool that you get you get games for free, and trust me, it's very cool. Um, but it is part of like it's kind of like your job giving you a computer, you know, like it's cool, but it's it's for my job. That was that was a perfect uh, analogy there. That was, that was good. That was good. A good comparison. Good comparison. Um, let's go on to a good comment. Justin Spirit says, Monster Hunter. Too many Justins. No, but this Justin's cool. Did you see his? He made a. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Are you implying that our Justin isn't cool? Yes, 100%. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not even implying it. I'm stating it very in clear language. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Uh, but no, he's cool. He made not not the other Justin. I want to make it clear this Justin that I'm talking about right now. The other Justin is not cool. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, he made this. He made like this Earthbound like uh, it got to show it to you. It's, it's Earthbound cool. T-shirt with our faces on it. Awesome. No, it was anyway. a T-shirt. It was like a like a. It's like a physical. Like it was like a, like clay clay. Like oh really? Awesome. Yeah, it was dope. It was dope. It was it was dope. What well, wasn't claymation? It was it was stagnant, but it was clay. <laughs> what Justin goes on to say in this comment, which which uh, you def- definitely show me that uh, because like that's freaking awesome. And you know how uh, Justin said it to me again. <laughs> you know how big a fan. I, I had to scroll way too deep <laughs> in my Twitter likes. Oh, uh, he says uh, Monster is my favorite series of all time. Try being my favorite. I like your idea with the events. That would be cool. Though, I think the only way eight players could work is against siege monsters like Jin Mora or Lao Shun Yun Lin. Uh, beating up one monster. Lao Shun Lun was La- my favorite. Lao Shun Lun. <laughs> that, was, that was a highlight uh, of my playthrough, you know? Beating up one um, monster. I, re- I really like the first encounter that you, you faced. Okay, continue. <laughs> beating up one monster with four people gets crowded, as is for me. Um, 
tons of people being hit by one long sword and whatnot i really just want monster hunter to build for switch no ports just a fresh new monster hunter for switch thank you i totally agree with you about world's multiplayer it's trash unplayable for me seems like there's not and that's sad I'm sorry I'm gonna, he's that's, yeah that's his favorite franchise and he even have it that's trash. sad because people are like oh that's you know people are like oh this is the best one blah, blah. I, like i've heard about so many people but anyway um it's I trash. Think, see the thing is like it's built to be accessible that's why a lot of people say that Monster Hunter World's, World is the best one. And yeah. why it's like one of the best selling ones. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like super accessible to a point. <laughs> um, he's going to say unplayable for me. Seems like there's not much community like previous games had with their multiplayer. Even my phone died right when I was reading that comment. Uh, Even Gen Ultimate's multiplayer is far better. <laughs> Monster Hunter's peak multiplayer was in the teamwork. Hard, though. The hub was so amazing and when the G gen event <laughs> came a sandstorm affected the whole hub man i missed that a lot great video though thank you um but yeah like just like you said the um these things being implemented as far as like you said uh with the the sandstorm affecting the whole hub that was like that's something that definitely needs like you said like events need to be added and uh give it that sense of realism to the game and the series in general Cause that would just be awesome. Like, we've seen uh, games where, like, uh, even Breath of the Wild, like they have they have the things where it's like uh, the environment shapes a hu like a huge part of uh, how things play, and it seems and Monster Hunter should definitely uh, take that. I'm actually shocked they haven't at this point already. Um, for a game to be so so focused on monsters and wildlife, and you know, it's just it's it's nature, it's natural. So like, add that into your game too. What are you guys doing? That'd be awesome. Agreed. Um, um, I won't play it until... See, for me, Monster Hunter is still, like, Gen 1 Pokemon, right? Mm. Where it's like... And it, it's not even Gen 1 Pokemon in that, like... When I played Gen 1 Pokemon, I was a kid, so I was stupid, you know? <laughs> so it's like, I'm like, I love this thing. It's great. And then it's like, I was dumb until it got good. Mm -hmm. And then I just started liking it because it's just good now, right? Right. But, like, Gen 1 and 2 and to a certain extent 3 are not very good. Um, and they're paced weird. And, like, it, the, the only thing that I would stand by to say, like, these are amongst the best is, like, the, the character designs and, and all that stuff. But a lot of it is just not good. Um, I feel like if I started liking Monster Hunter in the early days, I would like it um, a lot more. But less in a Pokemon way. Because, mm -hmm. like, I honestly think that Pokemon is a lot better than it was before. I don't think it's perfect. It's definitely not perfect. Um, I, and, I mean, I've made very clear I don't think it's perfect. Right, right, right. right. Um, but I think that it's a lot better than what I hope Monster Hunter... Like, I, I think it improved a lot more than I would hope Monster Hunter has improved. Because if Monster Hunter has improved a lot, then I would hate to see the first one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, my God. Because, <laughs> like, we don't even um, like your latest installment. What do you think we we'll, think we'll like? Yeah. So, it's um, like, uh, so, so being that, I mean, like, look, looking at the time here, we're kind of cutting, like, to already be getting into the Q&A. It's like kind of, um, would you like to talk about our videos for the week prior? Because we, you know, we missed, last week we didn't do a direct uh, episode. Uh, that would make the podcast way too long. But we can <laughs> okay, talk okay. about, it, it, okay, it, it, okay. it would, it will okay. 100% make it way that's too what, long. That's, that's what um, but there's, there's a couple things that were happening, because it was like, I was kind of like, I don't know what to, what to make the, the topic for this video, because there's too many stuff, there's too much stuff going on. Right. Um, so, one thing that happened. Uh, that I, I almost wanted to make the topic of the video was Sony, Sony being stupid again. Uh, oh boy, here we go. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So Sony, Sony being stupid as usual. And the, the pull quote, the, 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 the most egregious thing that he said in this, this, this whole thing is like a, like self aggrandizing like, you know, basic Sony PR crap. Yeah. Uh, they're talking about cross-platform play he said on cross-platform our way of thinking is always that playstation is the best place to play fortnite i believe partnered with playstation 4 is the best experience for users that's our belief that's why he says that they don't want to do uh cross-platform play because it's like well we already have the best place so we're just gonna shoot we're gonna make that decision for you we think it's the best place so we're locking you to just that that was that was so idiotic and groundless that it's ridiculous 
Like it's the best place to play. Just because, like, it, like, man, so, I have so, been so playing. Me. I've been playing in the worst places to play for a whole like two and a half years, and I've been, I've been happy, like, perfectly fine. You know, like, I don't even touch my PlayStation. Like, like that statement is founded by nothing. Like, like that, that was just like, I was just. It's founded by the fact that he works for Sony. Exactly. It's like, it's like, but outside of that, it's like that was. I, sm- I just smell that bias. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just it's just smell like, it. It's just, it's just, it's crazy. cause even on like on what grounds, you know, maybe if exactly. this was 20, 2013 or whatever, <laughs> you know, like maybe, maybe if it was like when it first came out and it's like, yeah, clearly this is the best place to play. Cause it's the cheapest place to play and it's more powerful, but it's not more powerful and it's not the cheapest place. So it's like, it's in this weird middle ground, you know, where it's like, you can get a far superior experience if you get an Xbox One X. Or you can get a more convenient experience if you get a Nintendo Switch. Or if you wanna if you wanna go all out, you know, you can get a PC and play it far better than any other place on a technical level could ever imagine. You know? But PlayStation is just like I don't know, maybe you like the controller, maybe you like trophies. I don't know why you would like I I don't know what about trophies is like I feel like that's more of a you pick your horse in this race sort of thing. Like trophies are way better than achievements. It's like no, nah, that's that's arbitrary. Um, but yeah, like nothing about PlayStation makes them objectively the best. And this whole generation, post like how it opened and how they've been like running away with it sales wise, um, really until Switch came, which Switch is giving it a run for its money. It's really the only place that. Or, or the only platform right now that can hope to compete with it because so I mean Xbox doesn't have like uh, a, a worldwide brand in the same way that Nintendo and PlayStation do like they're not liked at all really in Japan so they have no real hope to compete there um, they do pretty good in Europe but the other guys do too and also they have an equal if not better uh, stranglehold on uh, Microsoft's hometown so it's like our, our home turf, you know, America's not a town. Um, but yeah, it's yeah, like, it is, yeah, it is. England is my city. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, oh. but no, no, no. Like, so it, it's just like that that whole statement. <laughs> and it's no secret that, like, I get frustrated by PlayStation. Like, I'm not like uh, I get accused of like the whole fanboy thing, which I think is stupid. Because, again, like I have a PlayStation 4 and I bought it with my own money. You know, I freaking have Xbox One. I had two Xbox Ones. Granted, you bought no, the first one. No, you got you to gotta show them the receipt. <laughs> you got to put the receipt. Yeah, exactly. I got to freaking <laughs> mail them my Amazon receipt. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's like I own this and I played it for a time, but it got to the point where the games that I wanted to play weren't on there. I'd rather play. I'd rather spend my time playing Smash Brothers or Breath of the Wild or, you know, like whatever or other game. Or literally anything else. <laughs> and, I mean, it's 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 pretty clear that when a game comes out for a system that I want to play, I'm going to buy it. Mm. I made a whole big thing about buying Spider-Man. The whole big thing. I tweet about it all the time how I'm buying Spider-Man. It's going to be literally the only game I play for at least the next week. <laughs> uh, so it's like, I'm, I have no nothing against Sony on like a, a, a level of like I just dislike them because I like the other box. It's like no, like their company, their company practices in a lot of areas suck terribly. It's like, yeah. and they're, they're, I'm not the only person that has dealt with like, for instance, their terrible customer service. I don't think I've ever had a good experience with their customer. Oh service. my, the, the whole freaking uh, what was that fiasco? You freaking bought a game for, which I don't even know why the yeah, I think it was like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, it was Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Z battle, battle, Dragon Ball Battle Z or whatever. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You but, bought um, it. They had, you... they had, they yeah. had the Vita version in the PlayStation Three store, and they didn't is... want to give me a refund. But I freaking, I was like, I mean, listen, if you don't give me a refund, I'm just gonna call my bank and have them like resend the payment. Um, and they're like, all right, we'll give you a refund, but this only this once. <laughs> but that's not even the worst offense. Um, the worst offense is when PlayStation Network got hacked, and they didn't want to give me my money for that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst offense. Uh, but, wow. but again, it's like uh, freaking Nintendo has the worst online. I, I don't. I never lost one hundred and fifty dollars on Nintendo eShop. Right, <laughs> let me t- I can tell you that much. Uh, <laughs> it's like, and their store is terrible. Like again, I'm freaking buying Spider Man. I bought Spider Man today. They're just like you I bought. Sp- 
I bought Spider Man today, <laughs> and that was a journey. It was first of all, th- their store is terrible in terms of search. It's awful. And I'm sure you know that, like the, the like just how it is, like with the scrolling thing, like yeah. typing in what you want to search for, sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was the first thing I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I had to deal with this. And again, this is like this is my experience after had not have having not played my PlayStation in like a year and a half of just like, all right, this is the this is what I'm being welcomed uh, by is just like this unintuitive like yes, you nonsense. Are, and yeah. then, and then. Um, I when I went to go buy the uh, um, Spider Man, um, I tried to log into my PayPal because I don't have any. After the, the the whole hacking thing happened and I lost all that money, um, I took all my payment information off my PlayStation. Cause right, rightfully so, yeah, yeah, not gonna happen. Yeah, uh, so I logged. I was trying to log into PayPal, and they're like, "This is the wrong password for your PayPal." So you know what I did? I turned on my Switch, <laughs> and I logged into PayPal. <laughs> with the same exact information and it worked um and then i was like okay maybe it's just the uh the website or or uh like the uh the console version of this door let me try the website same problem uh so i was like okay uh guess you guess i can't pre-order this game on the freaking playstation store <laughs> wow. i had the pre-order on amazon which was annoying because i wanted to specifically use paypal because freaking you know doesn't really matter but i wanted to use paypal and i couldn't do it because playstation to- store is garbage yes yeah, that's that's bs it happened so to me before one time well like what, the PayPal, it wouldn't the let PayPal, you log in the yeah the paypal just wouldn't yeah. work at one point it freaking was terrible as you just detailed but yeah it's like um everybody likes to crap on nintendo and like for their online offerings and stuff like that and I say all that to say that even the most popular gaming platform doesn't have everything figured out. Um, and if everybody keeps giving them pats on the back for uh, despite all the crappy stuff that they do, we're going to end up PlayStation 3 2.0 when they're like, uh, oh, freaking you know, people will sell their houses and quit their jobs to afford, you know, like that, that type of stupid crap when PlayStation 3 was coming out. Um, and they're 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 on a bad mm. bad road, but Xbox Xbox of all people, with Nintendo being all buddy buddy, Xbox is the one that Microsoft specifically is the one that you would think is like this greedy corporate company or whatever, right? Mm. But they're, I mean, they're the ones that are being the most pro consumer. They're like, I don't care what console you play it on, uh, you can you can buy this game on PC. We'll give it on you. Will give it to it on Xbox too. You know, it's like exactly. or the rumors exactly. about the cloud system. Like, yeah, we'll do we'll do a ne- new next gen uh, console, but we'll also do a cloud version that's cheaper. And like you or the subscription thing that they have now, where it's like you can uh, buy an Xbox in installments. Mm-hmm. Like so many pro consumer things and like PlayStation. Like, what are they doing? We're the best place to play, so forget all the other places to play. play best a- place to play, best so we can be as crappy as we want. Yes. But uh, f- listen, l- listen for more on our PlayStation podcast coming to you soon. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, keep is waiting. That, is that enough time? Or we gotta talk about another story. Keep waiting. We're we're, we're, we're creeping I, I, up I, on I, an hour. I, I, I think we're good. We're we're around an hour, so we can jump in. The Let's Q&A get into now. the Q and A, guys. Join the Discord, ask your questions, and and join the YouTube community tabs that attach your comment and well you don't have to join that if you're subscribed to our channel you'll see it yeah so make just just make sure you voice your your thoughts and any additional thoughts you have but just random random just random stuff you know uh aside from our videos for the week anything anything just just let us know what's what's going on uh so again we have was, was, wasn't he already here come on you, you, yes you, you, <laughs> it's a repeat uh executor 20 that's the 26 66 i don't even know where i got the two from any thoughts on Nintendo Switch app reportedly being used for Diablo 3 on Switch? I personally don't understand the logic behind it, seeing as Fortnite does voice chat perfectly fine on Switch without the mess of the app. Perhaps there will be a game, uh, be in game content that you can add to manage the app like Splatoon 2. While I still wouldn't totally be on board with that, I would be much more understanding of that approach. But who's to say? We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Um. Yeah, I mean, basically, we, we, you just I agree. Um, I'm, again, I'm not, I don't care about on-console voice chat. I care because other people care, I guess. 
um like i care for them mm-hmm. <laughs> but as far as for me like i don't like if unilaterally unilaterally nintendo said tomorrow hey we're just gonna every all voice chat is done through the switch I still wouldn't use it. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, exactly, I would still exactly, use exactly. Discord. Or it, 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 I would, I would prefer to call somebody yeah. over over voice chat on on any system. Um, so that much, I don't, I don't really have a horse in that race. As far as the app, I think the app is cool on the level of having uh, more interaction with the game because on the other consoles and like previous generations and stuff like that. They did that anyway, but it was on multiple apps that you had to download. You know, like, you don't... It's not just a thing of, like, oh, your account is associated with a Switch that has Splatoon 2 on it. So we'll give you the Splatoon 2 app and the Nintendo Switch Online app that you already have. You don't have to go and download another app and then clutter up your screen more or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. It's it's already right there. And then you have all that extra content to engage with. Or you can manage the stuff that you have outside of the game when you're not on your switch but you want to just like do a quick thing like say you're at work and you're like oh uh aj we should play smash brothers when i get off or whatever right. uh let's schedule a match and you go on the app and you say all right let's let's fight on this time and then we get notified whenever it happens it's like all right time to hop on smash brothers you know like that that sort of thing right, right like right. i i like that level of what the app provides um as far as the like the, the thing that what everybody is hung up on i just don't care <laughs> about the voice chat thing Mm-hmm. For yeah, me, I, yeah, I, I could see where I could see where the where, where the gripes and the you know people you know the concerns come from, but yeah, again, like, like, again personally, I just um, just the, the, the quality isn't there for me. There's other alternatives to use, but I mean, I, I see where people's upset. You know, I I, I, I see where you're coming from. Um, Retro Rush says, "What kind of upgrades would you guys want to see in a Switch Pro handheld and docked sides if you can?" Um, handheld, uh, maybe just like a bigger screen, smaller, smaller bezels. Um, I don't know, I guess longer battery, you know? Oh, yeah, 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 true. I don't yeah, really have yeah. a huge problem with the battery as it is. It's not too often that I'm going somewhere that far away, uh, where I don't have access to power for that long. You know, like most games that I, probably most games that I play on my Switch, I probably get about like four hours. Not going to many places that take me four hours to get to somewhere that has power to charge it again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, let alone like you know like battery packs and stuff like that. But it would be cool to have a longer battery. Um, the screen would be cool, maybe a higher resolution screen. But again, I'm, I don't really care that much about about that. Um, hmm. The dock. Though. Oh, something else would be cool is if the uh, which I guess that this would be like a Joy-Con upgrade more than anything. Um, but if your Joy-Con, you know how you switch charges your Joy-Con. Mm-hmm. I want the Joy-Con to be able to charge the Switch. <laughs> so it's like if, cool. if the if the Joy-Con have more battery, then they start to charge the Switch. If the Switch has more battery, then they charge it charges the the Joy-Con. Yeah, that'd be real nice. That'd be real nice. So you can do your handheld stuff. What are, what are handheld stuff that you will um pretty much just just the like like you said just the screen and the and then the battery honestly. But other than that, I mean. I can't really see a need for, you know, that to even exist. Like, you know, I, I just don't really, I don't, it's not something I, I even think about. I don't even consider. Um, yeah, it's not know. really something I'm like, I, man, if only I had this. <clears throat> right. Um, um, I don't know. For, for like a Switch, a Switch 2, <clears throat> or the, the swap, <clears throat> the Nintendo swap, um, I, I mean, it would be cool to have like Switch or, or whatever that is, the handheld performance be on par with what the dock, <clears throat> performances and then they like i don't know double the performance of dock mode mm-hmm. uh that would be cool then we have we'll be able to have more games more like easier for <laughs> developers like it's possible now but it just would be harder for them to do yeah. for them to like put their games on switch but <laughs> like if they're able to have like i don't know like it's already like more powerful than playstation 3 in handheld mode, but if they were able to have like regular PlayStation Four in handheld mode and then Pro in docks mode, that w- I mean that would be the ideal situation, even in next generation. You know, like yeah. even with PlayStation Five and Xbox, whatever. But yeah, that they, that that'd be interesting. Yeah, like it's just overall, I'm just not I'm just not really too you know worried about you know that being even being a, yeah, like the tech specs and stuff yeah. like that. 
Um, yeah, same. I don't really like. Jordan the best. Know. Goes on to say, is Nintendo flooding the market of indie games to the point that tons of great games are going unnoticed? I really wanted Escapers too, but I didn't even know the game actually came to Switch. There are tons of stuff people probably are asking for that already are there, that's already on there. But there are so many that we don't even know it's in there. Well, Jordan, that's our job to tell you. And we did. We have a video where I talked about Escapers 2. And you weren't there to see it. So I blame you. <laughs> um, but no, uh, I think that's less of uh, too many games happening. Uh, more of a not good enough curation happening. I think it's a curation issue, not a content issue. There's no amount of content that I would say like, oh, this is too much. Mm -hmm. You know, like the people don't go like, man, there's too many albums on the iTunes store or whatever, right? Like if there's something that you want to listen to, you, you heard about it because you're clued into that specific like niche of, of that thing. And I think that, or it's just a better algorithm that's clued in the, the type of things that you like. Um, and I think that's more of the, the problem that needs to be solved. Nintendo needs to have more things of like, you play Breath of the Wild, maybe you like Mario Odyssey or go like even deeper than that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's, definitely, it's definitely one of those things because, you know, um, having that way to connect something, you know, in, in, even if you got to stretch it, like, okay, this is sort of like this and this and this, you know, it, it's, it's uh, having that would just make things a lot easier to find. Um, yeah, even if it's like like the, the the best case scenario would be on the like the Facebook level of like the, like they find connections through the weirdest things like the uh, I think there was a because uh, you know I went to school for like media and like you know like that type of psychology in that in that realm mm -hmm. with advertising and stuff like that and they had this page for curly fries and they were able to determine so many other things that people are like likely to like within like a 95 percent window mm. of like uh likability like that like, like down to the yeah that's, that's crazy. yeah like we're so positive that if you like this page then you probably like this 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 and this too and it's not like a thing of like you like curly fries so you probably like arby's it's like you like curly fries so you probably also like going to target on wednesdays at three o'clock in the morning that's you know, crazy. like, like, so, like, things that you wouldn't think are attached, but they, they, they just have data to back it up. Right, yeah. Um, if they're able to have, like, a system that's that detailed, um, which a lot of people wouldn't like it because they're, like, weird about the, like, the, the information tracking thing. Mm -hmm. But, um, I don't know. I mean, it's just it's where we're headed. <laughs> Sorry to say. Um, so, I don't know. If they're, if they're able to, like, give you recommendations that are that good. Then I, I think that that it, it becomes less of a problem. That, it's, that, it's, that, that was always weird to me. Like uh, you see that on Facebook all the time. People are like, "Oh, I, I don't. Uh, well, what do they? How do they know I did this? The type of type of thing." And um, like it just it just you know, you, they they, they, it, they share so much, like, and then it's like you know, it, I don't know. It's just uh, what I find usually is uh, people don't have a problem with giving their information. If the um, if the service outweighs the 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 issue for them, you know, like if it's so useful to them, like if they always use Facebook and that the recommendations that Facebook gives them is so good, they're not going to care that it's because they have your information because mm -hmm. they're giving you something in return that you think is valuable. But if you don't pay attention to any of those information, I mean, any of that stuff, and you don't give them enough information, or you try to not give them enough information that they give you bad recommendations. You're more likely to be like, all right, I don't want, I don't want them to have anything, you know? Right. Um, but I, I think that for the most part, a lot of people are like, they obviously, clearly, most people don't care or don't know. <laughs> so it's it just like a moot point. And, and going on to uh, who, who's is this retro? Oh no, no, sorry, Jordan the best. Um, I mean, honestly, without sounding like a jerk, just, uh, you know, really be up on that. If it's something that you, like, you know, really, you know, want to check for, just, you know, uh, do your due diligence, just, man, just, just, just check. Yeah, like, I would know? say for games like that, like Escape is 2, um, you definitely, like, I know that it's more like, it's, it's not 
as likely for people to make Twitters in the way that like we would make Twitter. Mm. Like even even you, like you don't use Twitter in the way that like a lot of content creators use Twitter. Yeah. Uh, where we're always on it, we're always checking in, we're always engaging with the with the thing. Some people just have Twitters for five accounts. You know, like maybe we mentioned Twitter once, and somebody's like, "Oh well, I got to make a Twitter so I can follow them and and read the stuff that they say." Mm. Um, but if you're like more of a power user and you're like, all right, I want to know when the next freaking, I don't know, No More Heroes game comes out. I'm going to follow Grasshopper and Suda. Right. And I'm just going to know. I'm going to know when it happens. Um, that's the, that's, that's another big part of it. But again, like it is on Nintendo to like tell you that stuff. It's, Mm -hmm. it's a curation thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend, like, if I was an advisor at Nintendo, I wouldn't be like, yeah, uh, cut a lot of these games out. Stop making so many games. Mm. We got too many games. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would never say that. Right. Um, but I would right. be like, all right, we got to get better at funneling what people want to play. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's kind of it's like a half and half thing. Like, they got to do their part, but you also got to do your part as well. It's like, you got to, you know. Yeah. But um, Jason Ladd says, what other older RPGs do you think will resurface on the Switch with an HD remix? Uh, since we are getting Grandia 1 and 2. Um, I'm surprised uh, Gold Sun. we have But uh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm surprised we... I, I don't know if about an HD remake for that game. That'd be kind of weird. But, I mean, I'd be down for it. But I I, I don't I would be surprised. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe put the, the freaking Dragon Quest 8. Put Dragon Quest 8 on there. Ooh, yeah. That'd be good. That'd be good. That'd be good. They already did uh, it for the freaking the 3DS. Yeah, exactly. On Switch. So, um, and Justin, uh, the one that the one that's not cool, that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he said that he wants them to put every Final Fantasy game on there. So maybe that. That'd be sweet. O- only Final Fantasy game I care about is fifteen. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, I guess the new seven. Maybe that would be cool. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I don't that'd really be sweet. care that'd about the original one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but that's obviously that's a, that's a new game. But it's it's a port of an old game. You you know what I'm saying. You, you get it. You get it. Uh, Aiden Canali says you don't. Why you don't have like another like you 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 play RPGs and stuff. <laughs> uh, hmm, Final Fantasy be good. I'm trying to think. They could. I mean, they could do Kingdom Hearts. Which would be awesome. Uh, Star Ocean be dope as well. I was about to. I was about to be freaking shocked if what? you didn't say Star Ocean. Oh yeah, yeah, Star Ocean would be cool. Um, trying to think. There's, there's, there's just so many. Honestly, uh, they could they could put like an older like that's like probably like a Tales of in there. Um, had to be one of the good ones though, because there's so many of them and they they just kind of run together a little bit. Um, yeah, they all do. They all just, you, you play one, you play more. Just put Tales of Symphonia on there. That's the one I know. There's there's so many that, they, 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 that we we could throw in there. Uh, put a freaking put a freaking old older Mario and Luigi RPG. That'd be awesome. Um, that's true. Because that's something that that's hasn't true. done ever on a freaking uh, home console. That's something that I want. Well, as far as in those two together, uh, that'd be yeah. that'd be awesome. There's so many RPGs, man. I'd be here all day. Star Fox RPG. No, I'm joking. But uh, <laughs> no, but oh my god. Actually, no. Uh, I think um, Final. Yeah, like I think, like you said, Final Fantasy. I think six would be awesome. I said seven. I didn't say six. That'd be cool. I heard great things about that. I've never never played it before. Uh, it's, it's, it's just so many, man. I, you know, I mean, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna end up freaking thinking of some after. Um, yeah. We can do with this. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I should have said this. Should have said that. Should have said that. But, uh, well, just reply to his comment. But yeah, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts all day, man. That, that has to be a thing because we should get Kingdom Hearts anyway. Yeah, that, that that's the obvious one though. Like that's like that would be stu- it's, it's stupid. It's dumb. Like clearly we're going to get three, so we got to get one and two. Exactly. Like I think it's very obvious that we're going to get three. Uh, Star Wars and the Last Hope. That'd be cool. I'd play that right you're now. Of, you're, right now. You're speaking a different language. I don't even. Know what you're talking about, but, um, <laughs> uh, moving on. Aiden Connolly. Connolly. Connolly? I think so. Connolly. Connolly. What games would you like to see on the Switch in the future? Um, I read this, and then I immediately was like, this game. And then I forgot what the game was. But I was like, that's what I want. <laughs> um, uh, 
why not F Zero? Um, give us uh, like a good like a good Star Fox game. Thank give you. Us Thank you. Kid Icarus Uprising, but make it a Star Fox game. Thank you. Do that. How about that? Yeah, give, um, it, yeah, give us something good, Star Fox, please. Um, I mean, that's pretty please. much it because we're already getting like the main things that I want, like Smash Brothers, you know, Pokemon. Um. But, I mean that's all that's all my bases, you know. Smash Brothers and Pokemon. We got <laughs> yeah. it. Those are yeah, your little we'll close up shop. Um, <laughs> let's see a let's see let's see the ice climber game come to come to come come out to be Oh like, yeah, how about that? How about awesome. that? How about the ice you know the ice climber game Logan uh, <laughs> freaking the three the, D the three D Donkey Kong that one's been freaking you know, going crazy over. Oh yeah, that too. Passion. That too. That'd be awesome. Um there's just so many things. Give us uh, Superman Superman 64 Switch. Oh, Everybody oh likes that game. goodness. Everybody's favorite game. Oh, man. Superman 64. I quit. But on I quit. the Switch. <laughs> um, <laughs> give Waluigi his moment in the shun. I saw the shun. And the shun. It's yes, sun. continue to shun Waluigi. <laughs> That's what we need. Uh, bring back Wario World. That was awesome. Um, was it? I, I enjoyed Wario War World. Did you? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, Warrior Wear for the Switch. That'd be awesome. That's also true. That'd I'd be, be down freaking for that. cool. I know we got Warrior Wear Gold, but I was like, come on, can we get some of the Switch? Yeah, awesome. that's not on the Switch, though. So. Yeah, I know. It's Probably proud about Nintendo, by the way. Oh, wait. Uh, something. Nah, I don't want to talk about it right <laughs> now. We'll talk about it next week. I was oh. going to talk about uh, Hyrule Warriors. Because also probably provided by Nintendo, they sent me that. I was going to talk about it, but we'll save it for next week. All right. And oh, <laughs> Dragon Ball Tenkaichi Three for the Switch. <laughs> Yo, I would play I'm that down. still. I'd play that still. I'm down. I'm down. Like, Even though fighters fight like for a long time, Tenkaichi Three was like undisputed, like my favorite Dragon Ball Z game. Yeah. Now, Dragon Ball Fighters, easy, easy. Over over Tenkaichi. Yes, 100%. Just because it's like, like, Tenkaichi 3 is like a good game if you're a Dragon Ball fan. Mm -hmm. Fighters is just a good game, period. Oh, yeah, I I give you that. I give you that. I give you that. I I, I could could step in not knowing anything about, okay, who's this character and still have fun with it. Right. That's true. You have to be so glued uh, to Dragon Ball for the the older games. I give you that. Yeah, because it's like, oh, look at look how cool this is. I'm flying just like they do in the show. Yeah. Look, look, oh, I can change my character so they have a halo. You know, like they're in the other world. You know, <laughs> like, like, like right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give you that. And I'm gonna give you guys the opportunity to see what AJ's final thoughts are. Um, go watch Logan's video. It's not doing good. Thank you. Actually, I appreciate that. <laughs> and uh, as always, listen to what AJ said this time because that that make that make. <laughs> That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, any other time, don't <laughs> listen. But this time, <laughs> it's just, no, I freaking know. But uh, it's 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 a good, actually uh, did that video just? I don't know. I don't know. When I was making it, I was like, okay, let's let's you know, Monster Hunter. I was like, all right, like, let me let me let me do my research and and you know, dig into my my bag here. Apparently, YouTube didn't like your research very much. <laughs> they're not surfacing it at all. <laughs> <sighs> what can you do? Dear old YouTube. All right. Bye, guys.